Hi everyone, my name is Patrick Wright, and uh, thanks for taking a few minutes to watch my presentation on technology use in a music classroom. Um, I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia, and the subject of my project is myself. Um, I've been teaching now um, for my eighth year teaching at a school outside of Atlanta. Um, so I studied my own classroom, and um, as you'll see, we use a ton of technology, as I'm guessing many of uh, the teachers that you interviewed and looked at do the same. Technology everywhere um, in the classroom. So without further ado, let's get started. So I don't know about you, but I know when I was getting ready to earn my undergraduate degree, I was really excited about the future, not just a paycheck, but about the technology as well. I remember getting my degree and being ready, thinking I had all the answers. Um, and when in regards to technology, I knew that everything was going to be fine because I had a class on it. But slowly but surely, that happiness turned to sadness when I realized that I didn't really know anything. And it was up to me on my own to learn how to untangle the mess of technology and turn it into something that could be really, really amazing. So I've been teaching at High Meadows School now for eight years. And we see students ages preschool through eighth grade and my teaching partner and I see all the students and we see them all at least once a week usually twice a week sometimes every day you'll see that we use a lot of technology so I'm going to take a few seconds and take you through some of the technology that we utilize tell you a little bit about what it is that we do so as you can see this is our Mac lab uh, we have five Mac mini computers each one is connected to a keyboard and then, um, as you can see, a screen. We use these Mac Minis mostly in the middle school um, age groups. We use GarageBand and iMovie. Um, we do some loop arranging, and then we do a lot of film scoring and music video design. So we utilize both iMovie and GarageBand for that. This is our main uh, technology setup. You can see the active board right there in the center of the screen, and then the computers on the wall beside it. Um, obviously a projector is in use um, to project whatever's on the screen um, and that allows us to manipulate with a little pin anything that is on the screen you can manipulate with the pin so it allows for students to be able to come up and interact with whatever it is that we're teaching. So we're going to take a little break now and uh, talk about the interview questions. The first question was what has been the most beneficial aspect of using technology in the classroom? For me I think that the most beneficial aspect of using technology is the fact that it engages the kids and it helps bridge that gap between what they do educationally and then what they do for fun and when you can get those two things happening at the same time that's when real learning happens learning that will stick with them um, and they, that they can continue to use throughout their lives all right, so I'm going to show you a few more of our technological tools. Um, obviously, this is an iPad. We got a set of 15 iPads this year. We are really excited to try out different ways of using them, um, and we're still at the beginning stages of that. But we do have an iPad Ensemble, and this is our mixing board that we hook the iPad Ensemble up to. And in addition to the iPads, we use this mixing board for this electric piano um, that we use almost every day in class when we're singing or just to uh, make some sounds. So a few more tools that we use in class. Question number two, what is your favorite use of technology? Um, in our class, I think my, my very favorite thing that we've done with technology is our iPad ensemble. Uh, it started as an idea about four years ago, in 2011 something that we, myself and my teaching partner, we wanted to try, um, but we didn't have any iPads. We had some that were uh, available as uh, with the school, but we didn't have any music dedicated iPads. So we had to propose it and try to get it approved, and eventually we were able to get the app GarageBand um, installed on the some of the school iPads, and so we were able to try making an iPad ensemble. Um, and it was great. The kids loved it. We just tried it as part of a middle school class, one of our general music middle school classes, and it was it was fantastic. It was everything that we thought it could be. Um, kids that didn't play an instrument, they could make music right away with these digital instruments. Um, we could create songs together 
uh, by combining the different instruments in the GarageBand app, and it was really successful. Um, so then we decided to take it a little bit farther and create sort of a um, more advanced iPad ensemble. So we did that starting last year. We performed at um, our state music education convention. And then this year, uh, we have all new kids in the advanced group. Um, and we've already performed at two state conventions, um, one in uh, October and another one in November. And then we'll perform again in January, um, again at our state music educators conference. So that's been really fun to kind of see the progression of that from absolutely nothing to trying it in class. And then now we have this kind of advanced iPad ensemble that's really doing some cool things um, with GarageBand. Finally, I wanted to um, show you guys some of the software that we use. This is a program called Quaver's Marvelous World of Music. It's been around since 2011, and it's an incredible resource to use. Um, you can use it as a standalone curriculum, but it's also great as a supplement, which is how we use it. Um, so if you teach elementary music or are thinking about teaching elementary music or middle school general music, definitely check it out. Shameless plug, I helped write the middle school curriculum, and it's a really amazing program. Question number three, is it possible to teach without any technology? I think that the short answer is yes. Of course, you know, of course you can. Um, I know that there's been at least one day in my eight years of teaching where we lost power. We didn't have any power. We had some kind of power surge in our building and, um, and we didn't have power. And thankfully, we, we still, it was light enough outside, we have enough natural light to where it wasn't dark in the room, and we were able to keep teaching. Um, you know, you can always sing songs, you can always play instruments, so yes, it's, it's definitely feasible to teach music without technology. Um, not just with some of the, the music specific tools, like, um, like GarageBand and like iMovie and some of the other uh, music things that we do, but just technology in general. If we didn't have this active board behind me, that would change a lot of, of what we do. Um, if we didn't have a way to play music, to play CDs or to play um, songs from the internet, that would really affect what we do. If we didn't have a way to show YouTube videos, again, that would, that would really affect what we do. Um, we also use a curriculum called Quaver Music, which is entirely online. It's completely internet-based. Um, they do have some DVD episodes, but again, without technology, you can't play DVDs either. So that would, uh, that would severely impact what we're able to do, at least as far as the way that we've done it. I wanted to show you guys kind of a breakdown of what we have here at um, High Meadows. You can see we have a total of 41 technology items. Hardware takes up almost half of those. The hardware is the green, software is the red, and then the apps is the yellow. Um, obviously, with the iPads, we'll probably increase the apps as we go along. And I wanted to show you this chart. Um, this shows how we use the technology. And some of the items we use for multiple things, that's why there's more than 41 items on here. But it's important to note that the vast majority of what we use is in our actual curriculum. Um, it's not for performance and it's not for administrative tasks. And I think that's important and something that we're going to try to keep as we keep adding more and more technology. Use it for the students. By now you guys probably know that I'm a big proponent of using technology and uh, I'm, I'm an even bigger proponent of trying new things and just not being afraid. I feel like there's a lot of fear surrounding um, technology and just new ideas um, and, I'm, and I think that needs to change. I think the teachers need to feel free to try things and, and, tr and try things out with the students best interests in, in mind and technology is definitely a part of that. So I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thanks for uh, watching, and I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say.